Hey guys, I'm back with another review and as you can see I've got my really, really cool 10th Doctor's Universal Remote as made by The Wand Company. Um, it's in its box at the moment and I'll just start off with the box as usual. It's, it's very nice, it's simplistic and white with Gallifreyan text, the actual screwdriver. And this isn't to scale by the way, this picture. Um, you got some pretty decent looking detail like of the crackle effect and stuff, although it isn't the same on the actual prop. You got the uh, yellow wire and stuff, and it looks really cool. I do like how simple it is, kind of like an Apple product, looks pretty cool. You got the classic Doctor Who logo, 10th Doctor, it's time as the Doctor, and what it is. Just a normal Doctor Who logo there, same thing there. And here we have got a little bit of instructions. And it focuses. There you go. Uh, feel free to pause it and read it. I'm not going to. So, to open it, you would just simply take out this, like so. And then here we have a fully functioning gesture based universal control. Tenth Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. Allons Z. And that's pretty cool. And you fold it upwards. And I like how they kept that there. That looks pretty cool. You would. When I got mine, mine was like this, with the one company logo facing upwards. And uh, this actual pack, this box here, was wrapped in a nice kind of silicone-like bag. But I decided to take it out. Um, it's pretty, pretty basic. If I just move that out of the way. As you can see, hinge and what have you. And then on the bottom of it, you got a Sonic Screwdriver logo. I'm not overly keen on these circle things here. It's kind of dodgy. But nevertheless, that's what they opted for, and I like it. So yeah, that is very cool. And here, once again, is their logo. Now I'm just going to open it. And there you go. Looking very cool, if I do say so. Um, if you've seen other reviews of this, you know basically what you're going to get. These are foam inserts, as you can see, which are very nicely detailed with Gallifrey and text and what have you in a nice kind of matte grey, and they are removable. So, here's the first one, which doesn't have anything in it because of the way I opened it. It's a very nice foam, as you can see, and when you take that out, you would reveal this, which is the blueprint. Um, this might be quite difficult to show off. But, um, opens up like this and you can buy framed versions of this which are quite expensive so, yeah and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try and show you a whole view of it so you can pause it if you want to read it you need the camera to focus in as well so there you go it's very very cool I was thinking of putting this up on a wall but I decided not to because it might get damaged and on the other side we have the instructions which are really really nicely simply laid out with a, like highlighted titles so anything you want to know about it you can find very easily and yeah I'll be coming back to these shortly so again this was the foam insert and uh, here is the other foam insert which I can just take out now and you get the screwdriver and the charging cable and I'm going to put that to the side and inside the case you'd get the display stand and the inside is pretty hollow and kind of good quality plastic I'd say and here we have a little bit of copyright crap so yeah I'll show you the display stand this is Gallifrey text I assume it is the number 10 which is pretty cool it's got a bit of a cha paint chip there but it's alright here we have some nice velvety like like materials, it's very cool, it can easily slide as you can see, well you can't see but it doesn't matter. Um, here we have the charging cable, it um, can fully open, just take this off, obviously it can fully open. But, and it is a micro USB with the one company logo on it, is it here? Yeah, you can just about manage to read it, the one company. So yeah, you can charge this with your PS3 or computer tower or whatever. It's a pretty long cable as well so you know. Right, that's all of that. Now I'm just going to have to move on to the main attraction. 
and here it is and it is absolutely beautiful I'm going to start off with the top it's got a blue cap which is a bit loose as you can see I can turn it and it looks like I could pull it off but you know I'm not going to because that's stupid it's very well rounded as well I like that quite a bit I didn't even bother bringing my crappy character options one down to compare it it's just rude to have this next to it I think because it was so pathetic that toy was compared to this anyway I quite liked it before it's very nicely done as you can see very cylindrical whereas the character options one just looks like a nub the uh, metal work machine work on the aluminium very nicely done very flush as you can see I don't have any problems there are a few marks on the inside here but you know yeah I can live with that as you can see there's a bit of marking but it doesn't matter here we have the uh, kind of cracked porcelain effect or whatever you want to call it it looks very nice you can see the wire there the blue here looks very cool the uh, I don't know what this technically is but with the character options one button button and that was pathetic you can see where it kind of joins almost there but it's blended in quite well I've got a bit of paint in my thumbnail sorry about that never noticed that um, looks very nice it uh, isn't painted which I'm happy that it's sculpted instead of painted as the paint could eventually chip off and if this is a remote you're gonna have it in your hand quite a lot so here we have the uh, same old aluminium working and what have you here we have the end cap which is quite loose as it has to come off for the charging cable as you can see there it is it takes a micro USB and I have it right here so yeah just push it in like so here you go and um, the uh, actual charging unit if you will moves up into the sonic screwdriver so when I charge it I just simply do that and uh, the thing goes in there quite safely so yeah um, oh, also when you plug it in when it is charging um, this will light up red because it's an actual LED as well as a button and when it's done it will light up green and it will say power cell regenerated and when it runs out it will say power cell depleted which is very cool taking that out putting this back on very very awesome for some reason the quality seems to be a bit off on my camera yeah. um, it extends nicely it didn't extend that well at first but you know that's expected I uh, actually fold these bits away quite a bit just because I like to have a smoother action and it's very nicely done as you can see here ever so slightly frosted with the nice cable um, it's a bit loose here as you can see it does come undone a bit but you know I'm not going to play with it at all so yeah moving on to its actual features it comes in a practice mode I think I'm not sure what mode it's in now alright it's in practice mode and I'll turn it up because uh, the uh, speaker is located in here and you can't really hear it but it's pulled down so I'm just going to give you an idea of what you can do with it down Yeah, you probably can't hear it, but yeah, it's been all right so far. And double press. double press. So yeah, it went through all of them pretty accurately, which is good. And then if you press the button again, it takes you into the next mode. control mode and um, basically in control mode what you do is you control stuff and you have three memory banks so to change memory banks you click it three times memory bank B. there's memory bank B memory bank C, C. Memory bank A. and back to A and um, to a kind of program a thing in it you would I'm not going to do it but you'd press this three times and then you would perform an action with it, well you press it three times and hold it down I mean like with the 11th Dr. Science screwdriver then you would flick it to do an action so I'm just going to say up oh, wasn't meant to do that um, yeah and um, 
then you would uh, press the button on your remote and it would be keyed in for that. And moving on to its next mode, which is quiet mode. Quiet control mode. Memory bank A. <coughs> it says quiet control mode, memory bank A. And that's just the same thing, except all the sonic sounds are replaced with a click. Whether you can hear it or not, I'm sorry, it's not a very loud speaker, which is a bad thing. And pressing it again, the most impressive mode is FX mode. <coughs> sorry about that, I've got something stuck in my throat. FX mode. And now it's just, basically, you, you can't keep on pressing it once, you have to press it and keep it held, and you can go. And I do quite like that because this uh, speaker is located in the bottom, as you pull it, push it out, the sound gets louder. Oh god, sorry about that. And that's very cool. And uh, if you tap it twice and hold it down on the second push, and you push it in different directions, you get different sounds. And um, for that, I'm just going to quickly get the instructions and show you what a few of them are so I'll just uh, press it press it forward oh god sorry about that push it forward this is a normal sonic pulling it back is the first sonic yeah, that's just an alternate sonic yeah I'm not going to name them all I'm just going to move it so you can hear what they are that's right up down and left or oh, clockwise sorry no that was anti-clockwise this is clockwise anti-clockwise clockwise and uh, tap on the top very cool tap on the left and when you move it it changes sound which is very cool tap on the right I think I've already done that. And my personal favourite, tap on the bottom for all you Sea Devils fan. Fan, sorry. There you go. The mind detonation. And those are those hidden, well not hidden, but gesture based sound effects in FX mode, which is very cool. And if you press it three times in FX mode, I believe, you get a Morse code message from one of the Tenth Doctor's sayings, which is very cool. So, one, two, three. That is pretty cool. If you can speak Morse code, you'll have a blast. I can't, so I'll play you another one. Anyway, yeah, that's everything on this really nice one to one replica. Well, pretty much one to one anyway, apart from a few minor things. I'd highly recommend you pick it up if you can find it anywhere. If you went to the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who, you saw they had a ton of these things. I didn't get one from there because if there was something wrong with it, I didn't know how I was going to return it, so I just went straight to Food and Planet and bought it from the shop. Uh, £70, absolutely brilliant. I'd highly recommend you get it. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.